Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Good luck to you then. I'm sorry, but the mages must, the mages be, must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. Stand here in this hour. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the Maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you on Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from Darkspawn blood. It's terrible. You there, Elf, what's your name? Oh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir, R right away, sir. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the turn, I hope. If I feel like it. If you're not from the turn, what do you want? We're busy. Make it quick. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt. And we kill. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with caddis, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. <laughs> Why? Would you steal our caddis and give it to the Darkspawn hordes? If you tried, we would kill you. And that is no joke. My thanks. 
There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? Alistair can help you with those. I had hoped he would be back by now. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the king's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. He calls. Where, where am I? Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You Grey Wardens get to ride with the King while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. But anyway, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you.
Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find them myself. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like. That course of action is inadvisable. Welcome, young man. I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Not sinful in and of itself. They claim it leads to sin. And there is a basis for that argument. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily, and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. 
Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Is it? I'm trying to find a bright side to all this. I suppose it wasn't very convincing. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Right. Over with. I have urgent duty, sorry. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. 
It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. That Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I. I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master at Ostagar was asking about those. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it, is all. Darkspawn. Everyone's as ugly as the first.
bloody monsters. Looky here. You can even smell their breath.
They just crop up everywhere, don't they? On it! Done, naturally. Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. here. Never any shortage of these ones. So simple to see, really. Don't look now. Trap. So simple to see. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
more dark spawn, hey? Greetings. It is good to finally have a moment to speak with you. Indeed. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. 
I'd be careful. First it's, I like you. But then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dabbit. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me, 